Hello, this is the second video on the Listing EX's chord engine algorithm. In this video we're going to talk about its distribution mode functions. Not the chord mode, distribution mode. Um, in this mode it will basically take a CV and probably gate input and distribute those voices over a number of um, controlled voices. So you can um, have basically poly polyphony from an um, incoming monophonic sequence. Uh, so, like so. So just to demo, I've got um, Disting Mark IV clocking a Rene, Rene into the Disting EX, and the Disting EX is driving these four uh, synthesizer voices. In the previous video, we covered calibration of these voices by the Disting, um, and various things to do with driving them, um, including the use of DS5 to generate the triggers for these four voices. So we'll dive straight into Distrib 4 to do all four voices and then maybe we'll look at the other uh, options later. So basically if I run the sequence, the Rene is just generating the same note over and over uh, and you can see that every time it triggers a new note it's going to a different voice in turn. So I've fairly carefully match the sound of the four voices, but you can hear that they are subtly different. I mean, you can make them deliberately different. Now every fourth voice is going to this one, so it's a bit brighter. Um, so that's all well and good. So if I let the Rene do a few more different notes, Then, and let's give these things a longer release. So there we go. Monophonic sequence, nice polysynth sounding result because it's blending the four voices together which are overlapping. Um, which is quite nice. However, beyond that, we can now apply um, arpeggiation. So we'll jump up to the arpeggio mode. So let's go back to Rene just generating the same note over and over. And then we'll turn the arpeggio mode on. Uh, and we'll need to give it a chord shape actually because that works together. So we'll go with chord shape. That's octave, two octaves, root and fifth. Suspended fourth. Um, that's quite nice. So, just to reiterate, it's just one note coming from the Rene over and over. In fact, I could unplug the CV input and just leave the gate, and it would be the same. Um, but it's generating the chord there, and it's arpeggiating it up or down. down and then it's all the familiar arpeggio parameters and or a lot of the other disting algorithms so the range um, yeah and that's basically it so now um, I did say uh, the ES5 is what's generating the triggers for the four notes obviously with four CV outputs and there's nowhere for four gate outputs to be on the disting ES itself so we're using the ES5 expander. Um, let's just do that for a minute. Let's get back to the um, operation mode. So this is distribution four. If you haven't got four voices you can use three and now it's just using these three voices. Or now if you skip it down to two it's going to stop using, or it doesn't, it will use the ES5 still, but it will also use the Disting EX outputs itself. So now if you haven't got an ES5, but you still want to control two voices, you see we have the gates. On those two outputs. So now we've got CV gate, CV gate. And in fact, if we go for Distrib 1, 
Obviously they can't do any voice distribution because there's only one voice, but it is now doing the arpeggiation still. So notes from the Rene, arpeggiation on the disting, controlling a voice. So even if you don't have any kind of polyphonic setup, this is still useful now as a arpeggiator, basically. Um, we don't have to give it just one note over and over. There we go. Um, yeah. Of course, the clock for the arpeggiation and the clock for the voice don't have to be the same clock. You could, let's... Uh, So there, just a random example. Faster gait going into the voice than is clocking the arpeggio. But I think it makes sense to have them the same a lot of the time. Let's put that one back in there. And then let's go back to... Go back to four voices, why don't we? And I would add, of course, that this works uh, with the other harmony mode as well, not just the shape mode. So if I change the harmony mode to the SATB mode, which we covered quite extensively in the first video, then um, we can still arpeggiate over the chords. So that's uh, arpeggiation using the SATB mode. In shape mode, we also have the uh, option of the um, where's it chord shape custom, in which case we then have these custom chord parameters to generate the chord that we're going to arpeggiate over. So let's go back to Rene outputting a fixed note. And then we can change the custom chord. So at the moment it's basically choose gone. It's basically doing a triad. So let's say we wanted that to be basically choose notes that it's going to arpeggiate over. Um, and if you set any of these parameters to 
used. So now we basically just have a two note chord of uh, C and D in this case, which is not much of an arpeggio. if you want to play with it. There we go, so that's uh, the voice distribution on the Disting EX chord engine mode.